My name is Nate from Kilovolt, and today we are going to be showing you how to properly set up your Solark inverter to work with your HAB 7.5 battery. First, we will look at the basic settings that you will need to program regardless of the system configuration. Each HAB is 150 amp hours. To determine the battery capacity of your bank, you will need to multiply that by the number of HABs in the system. In this case, we are going to assume there is only one HAB. Next, you will need to set your max amp charge and discharge rates. To comply with the parameters of the 10-year extended life warranty, the charge and discharge rates should be set to a maximum of 50 and 60 amps per HAB, respectively. Please see the Kilovolt HAB 10-year extended warranty document for more information. Next, you will want to set your battery temperature compensation factor to 0 millivolts per degree Celsius to disable temp comp altogether. You should also ensure that use battery V charged is checked instead of use battery percentage charged. Then you will navigate to the charge tab. The start voltage for either AC source in the system, grid or generator, should be set to 51.4 volts for 80% DOD. This can be set to a higher voltage if so desired. Float voltage should be 52.8 volts. Absorb voltage should be 56 volts. Equalization will be disabled by setting the time to zero hours, but best to set the equalization voltage the same as the absorb, just in case it is accidentally triggered. On the discharge tab, inverter shutdown voltage should be set to 48.2 volts. However, you'll see that you first need to increase the low battery alarm voltage to about 5 tenths of a volt higher than the target shutdown voltage before setting the appropriate shutdown voltage. Restart voltage should be set to 49 volts and battery empty volts to 48 volts. For battery resistance, you will use the formula shown. For a single HAB, the resistance is 15 milliohms. If we were to assume there were three batteries in the system, for example, we would divide 1 by 15 milliohms per HAB and multiply that by three HABs to get 0 0.2. 1 divided by 0 0.2 gives us a resistance of 5 milliohms for this example. Battery charge efficiency should then be set to 94.5%. Next, we will look at how to set your system up for grid tie battery backup, where SOC is kept at 100% and excess power is sold to the grid. First, go to the Charge tab of the Battery Setup page. Float can be set anywhere from 52.8 to 53.8 volts, depending on what works best for the customer. Gen Charge should be disabled if there is no generator present, and Grid Charge should be enabled. Make sure to check that all other settings comply with those recommended at the beginning of this video. Next, go to the Grid Setup screen, enable Grid Cell, and disable the three checkboxes below it. If so desired, one can limit the maximum amount of watts that will ever be sold to the grid at a given time. And now you have successfully programmed your Solark to keep batteries at 100%, power loads from PV, and sell excess to the grid. Finally, we're going to show you how to set your system up for self-consumption, to minimize dependence on the grid, and to only use it as backup when the batteries get down to 80% depth of discharge. First, go to the battery setup and verify that all settings are in line with those recommended at the beginning of this video on both the battery and charge tabs. Then, go to the grid setup page and disable grid cell. Time of use will need to be enabled, otherwise the battery bank will not be discharged until there is an outage. The time slots must be in chronological order and all time slots must be used. If you would like the inverter to power up to 9,000 watts of load at any time unless the batteries are discharged to 51.4 volts, or roughly 80% DOD, the inverter should be programmed as shown. Next, you will need to enable limited power to home, which in turn will disable limited power to load. After that, you'll go to Cell Control tab and set zero export power to zero watts. You will also need to ensure that you have the CTs installed above the main service panel as described in the Solark manual. And just like that, you're ready to go. We hope you've enjoyed this video and encourage you to visit the kilovault.com website for more information.